So the line-up is Matt Hansen on the inside in the red helmet colour. Kim Nielsen alongside him in blue in gate number two. Gate number three in white is Robert Lambert. Gate number four in yellow is Kai Hukenbeck, who had a lot of speed last time, actually. If he can reproduce that, he might just uh, be able to fire himself to the front. Uh, Kim Nielsen as well. He's been there or thereabouts. He's been solid enough three third places. But uh, Robert Lambert, they did during the track grade just leave a little bit of dirt up top. So uh, if he can't get right across, I would suggest he's just going to be heading out for the high and wide line. The 13. Back on with the action now. All oh, movement from Kim Nielsen, but it completely blows the start. It's Hanson once again off the inside. Kim Nielsen coming through. Then momentarily into second place. Bound the outside. Here comes Lambert. Lambert round the outside into second place. Now in the middle of the track. Hanson's very vulnerable. Kim Nielsen up the inside. Robert Lambert firing himself to the front but Hansen rem remarkably how on earth he hangs on but Kim Nielsen surges through in the second place but a stunning move on the opening lap from Robert Lambert. Yeah Kim Nielsen a master of that inside line Matt Hansen now going oh that got awfully close went around the outside and Kim Nielsen having to put the brakes on and turn a little bit early as Hansen come across but uh, Robert Lambert looking good out front riding high and wide using the grip it's not over yet for second and third. Out in front, Robert Lambert is comfortable. He is looking set for another win here. He's looking terrific. Superb ride from Matt Hansen. Smashing battle between himself and Kim Nielsen. Looks like he's going to have another second place. And Matt Hansen is set for the semi-finals as a reserve rider tonight. Kai Hukenbeck struggling at the back there. He is trapping. That's what's getting him in the points, isn't it, Matt Hansen? He's making super starts. And he was really tenacious there to hang on to second place, which is Kim Nielsen through the kitchen sink at him. Three points for Robert so Lambert, fell, two points uh, for Matt Hansen. Back to third place, but for Robert Lambert, he leads the Grand Prix on ten Short points now. Three field. points for him. Matt Hansen back in second Hansen place, two points. Kim field. Nielsen, one point He's for him. Kai Hukenbeck, no field. points there. Kim Nielsen picks up a warning for the movement on the start here. We'll clearly see it. Yeah, it just takes a stab at it there. He's just gone for a guess. He's penalised himself. Referee doing the right thing. Let's the race go. He's actually at the first corner last. And Robert Lambert, they didn't do as I expected. I thought he might go straight out to the dirt, having not made a clear jump. Kim Nilsson having to put the brakes on there, but he just uh, stayed on the outside. I tell you, a couple of times, this got awfully close between Mads Hansen and uh, Kim Nilsson. Finds himself just in the wrong place there, middle of the track. Not where you can afford to be right now on this fine circuit. You've got to be out in the dirt, or you've got to have your front wheel there across the curb. And there again, Dodgems as they leave turn two on lap three. He gets so, so close. Look at that. And uh, you've got to say, hats off to Matt Hansen. He's been in the well. thick of the action all night, scoring points every race. Eight points, one race win. Great chance of being in the semi-finals. Yeah, looking really good. And uh, as I say, we saw a reserve rider make the rostrum last night, and Matt Hansen doing a great job so far. Looking really good out there.